And I'm here to do your monthly spiritual guidance from spirit, your guides, Jesus, Allah, the universe, whatever it is you believe in Aquarius. This is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of October. So guys, if you hear my voice, okay, I apologize. But right before I did, um, as I was getting ready to do your heart, your, your heart. Yeah, we are about to go there. Okay, Aquarius. I know I have this thing that I usually say, guys, okay, keep in mind that this may resonate, it may not. However, I have set the intent that whoever stumbles upon this video that you are able to walk away with something that's going to help you thrive. It is very important in the month of October that you do not let old past wounds or old relationships or old blocks of failure dictate how you move, okay? Because I really feel like take the leap of faith in the month of October, be it in career, for some of my Aquariuses, for some of you, it's in um, it's in love. But I really feel like there's a major purge happening for you in the month of October. Like I'm almost like I, <laughs> I had a crying session and I like released like nobody's business Aquarius. And anytime I get in the science energy and I start to do things, it's that's one of the ways that my guys communicate with me so i'm telling you in the month of october there is going to be a major purge within your heart okay and it's going to open you up to take a leap of faith be it in love be it in, um in career but it's, it's it's guiding you propelling you forward okay but due to the past aquarius past failures past hurts or past disappointments you might not want to take this leap of faith but you i'm telling you do it okay so this is your overall energy and you see how we have forgiveness and love Okay, connecting back with what you're passionate about, connecting back with love, clearing out your old wounds, forgiving your parents, you know, or how you were shown um, love, how you were shown, um, you know, how your how your dreams, maybe your dreams were limited for some of my Aquarius. You had to put on, you know, you had to grow up before your time and, you know, you had to like really go into, um, even if you don't have kids, mommy and daddy, um, like adult mode. There we go. You had to go in adult mode concerning yourself sooner than you should have. And I feel like there's a lot of resentment that um, you're releasing, you know, towards for some of you, your parents, for some of you, um, your love relationships, for some of you, you know, people that casted down your dreams or you put your dreams on the back burner, you know, to, um, you know, really focus, put, put your focus somewhere else. OK, but I see in the month of October, you are coming home to yourself. And one of the things that spirit really wants you to do, Aquarius, is take that leap of faith. You don't have to be scared, OK, because there's a major heart awakening here. I feel like whatever risk that you open up to, whatever risk that you take, OK, speaking your peace, OK, going after your dreams, opening up to a new connection, is going to be beneficial for you. There's something new that you're doing in the month of October and Spirit wants you to know that you are protected, okay? You have to go. Protection is around you. Your steps are divinely ordered, you know? And it, even though you're fearing, it's going to be successful, you know? But maybe you have to put yourself out there. You have to put yourself out on a limb. You have to pitch an idea. You have to, you know, be an entrepreneur. You have to start your channel. Like whatever spirit wants you to know, connecting with your heart, um, Aquarius, be it in love, be it in career, be it in something that you're passionate about is your way to success. Connecting with your heart is your way to success. Okay. So take the leap of faith. 
Also, what I'm hearing for you, Aquarius, is to really be successful in the month of October, okay? Or whenever you're viewing this. Guys, do not pay attention to my nails. I totally took it off because I took them off, honey, because my hands was like hurting and stuff. But anyways, you need to embody this panther spirit, okay? And I really feel like that's a little you being selfish with yourself. Am I making sense there? Like, what makes you happy, Aquarius? What, you know, you know, what is it that you want um, when it comes to career, when it comes to love? Because maybe sometimes you can get so caught up. You see, I don't know if this camera's picking it up, how like this panther's blending in with the background. I feel like that is what some of my Aquariuses have been doing, okay? But I want to read this. It says the tropical jungle right here. It says... Um, Tropical jungles are some of the richest and most successful habitats on our planet. They have incredible diversity, a multitude of plant um, vary, varies and animals. They are dense with life force that is rapidly growing and rapidly changing. And this is what I feel like energy that, you know, what spirit is just talking about you what was good for you last year is not good for you this year. And it's totally okay. You're changing. You're evolving. You're becoming. You're growing. You know, forgive yourself. You know, um, the way that you viewed about love. For some of my Aquariuses, maybe, you know, you were with the person, but now you see that, no, you're not. You know, you don't, you don't, um, it's not there anymore. Okay. You want to be with a different kind of person. You want to be truer to yourself. You want to be honest. You want to be open. And I feel like honesty is your best policy for some of my Aquariuses that are in a relationship or married. Do the right thing. Don't cheat. Don't play around. Remove yourself out of that cycle, okay? Or maybe someone did that to you, Aquarius. Someone left you like that. It's okay because guess what? That wasn't your person. And it's time for you to really connect with your person, okay? So it says... They are dense. I already read that. <laughs> it says the lushness of their um, their state is essential to the ecosystem and the health of the earth. In many ways, the success of the plants depend on the rainforest. These are all called the lungs of the plant. The lungs of the planet. With this card, satisfaction and contentment and fulfillment are, are at hand. Success is waiting to expand in your life. Be ready to accept and embrace this, this success for it might occur rapidly. All is possible. So I feel like, listen, take the risk. Put yourself out there. You are not going to regret it. Be it in career, be it within some, um, you know, um, project or some product that you're excited about, maybe some merch. I don't know. But either way, um, Aquarius, it's going to be successful. But it's all about you in the month of October making a conscious decision to take a risk okay because <laughs> i felt like when i was just talking about you know the situation in love i felt like we was going explicit and i like to like keep it general okay but if you're resonating with that you might want to schedule a session with me just to dive deeper and give you some clarity so now aquarius we're going to go ahead and look at something major that's going to be happening for you in the month of October, first we have the Empress here. And I feel like this is you getting in touch with your heart, getting in touch with your nourishing side to nourish you. Because we also have the Magician reversed. If you notice that like you're not manifesting or your funds are not quite where you desire it to be, it's because you really need to come into this energy, Aquarius, and really love on yourself, really nourish yourself, okay? The Empress is a giver. She's more prone to nourish, male or female, you're probably more prone to nourish everybody else's wants, everybody else's need but I'm I'm seeing to really manifest um because you are the magician you can manifest whatever it is that you desire but the magician was reversed so there's a little stuck energy and I feel like the more self-care or honoring yourself and doing what you want yeah see with the tower here reversed there's something that you need to walk away from Aquarius it could be a way of thinking it could be a way of seeing seeing yourself it could be you know some people around you but we got you know with the seven of swords here um, it's something, it's something that you feel on the inside, but you're not 
vocalizing it or you're not, you know, you're avoiding it, you know, because maybe you're nourishing and giving your time and your effort to someone else when um, spirit wants you to know and wants you to be aware of this energy that something is you're giving from inside of your cup. Okay. No, what's inside of your cup, Aquarius, is for you and what flows out of your cup is for everybody else, okay? And I feel like, um, I'm seeing it two ways. So I feel like um, there's a need for you to be careful because there's something that you're giving into that it's time to let go, okay? Because it's it could taint you. Maybe it's a relationship for some of my Aquarius. If you keep giving to this relationship that doesn't serve you or because in the past, um, Aquarius, you've given to relationships that don't serve you. You're scared to take this new, this new leap of faith and try love with this new connection. Okay. And spirit is saying like, listen, nourish yourself, let go of the past, whether you're holding on to past relationships energetically. Cause that was something that I was doing Aquarius <laughs> energetically. I have been single forever, but I never fully allowed myself to feel how you heal is you have to feel. You have to allow yourself to cry. You have to allow yourself to feel. Sometimes we, we're about to feel our emotions and we, we get focused and do something else. No, allow yourself to feel. Place yourself back in that moment. Whatever you need to do, scream, cry. Feel your way through it because you when you allow yourself to feel, that's you allow yourself to heal, okay? So that's what spirit, um, something major, major healing. Tower moment is gonna happen. Um, and I feel like, you know, your this tower moment is good though for you because you're releasing what no longer serves you so you'll be able to manifest and focus on you okay or you're releasing the past you know and allowing this new connection in or attracting something different so let's see what's what is crowning you the things that you're thinking about in the month of october we have balance aquarius and this is what your focus is Gaining your balance back in your life, okay? And this, for some of my Aquarius, this could be um healthcare change, you know? Maybe you got some news, you know, where you want to get back out there and get healthy and you have to start, stop eating. I just heard gout. Eating certain foods or certain things that are doing something to your body, you know, or even drinking Aquarius. Um, It could be something that you might be indulging in and it's throwing you out of balance, but I feel like it's due to some coping me mechanism. But I feel like you're being guided to get some rest, take care of yourself, okay? And I feel like this, that you're your number one priority in the month of October, which is, yep, see, new exercise um, program, you know? Because when we look our best, we feel our best, okay? So I feel like that's something that you're doing, which is amazing, <laughs> okay? That's really, really good. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and do this first. What, anything that will bring you more fulfillment in the month of October? Like what can you do Aquarius to, to really put you at your highest vibrations to get all of the goodness out of October? We have write a gratitude list. Okay. You need to find things to be ha happy for or thankful for in every situation. Okay. Because I feel like this is how you're going to bring prosperity to you. If you notice that your funds have a little, a little bit stagnant or you haven't been like manifesting quite, there's some energy that is an opposite of um prosperity right here we also have there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support so i feel like the more that you write your gratitude list and just state what you're thankful for and what you're happy for aquarius the more you're going to feel at whole and at one with yourself you know just be thankful for your house even if it's not your ideal house or you're sharing it with somebody you have to stay with somebody at least you have a roof overhead at least you have food you know what i'm saying at least you have cute um clothes like i don't know <laughs> i just felt like a team was watching you you know what I'm saying? Like you, you have these things and the more that you do that, the higher your vibration is going to lift, which is going to attract all of the things that are already yours and the courage to really, um, do these risks or, you know, take these risks. Now, when it comes to finances by this great work that you're going to be doing, if your finances are stagnant or it's, you're not quite manifesting the way you want to, I really see a change happening. You're really turning into your personal power. So, you know, keep loving on yourself. Keep speaking affirmations of, of your power. But I see you regaining your power, Re male or female, standing in your emperor energy. You know, this is how you manifest, okay? Um, and I see, you know, for some of my um, Aquarius, I see 
see this, a new job opportunity being presented to you to collab with somebody. I see for some of you, this is going to involve you moving out to a new state, a new, a new place, a new area. Also, you know, venturing out on your own is what I'm hearing. Okay. I just feel like you're walking into abundance right now. So take the risk. This is what this eight of cup is about. It's all about a journey, you know? And I feel like maybe that's something that you had to do, um, Aquarius. You went on this journey. You had, you, you did a journey and now you're, you're, um, a journey of self-discovery and now you're realizing your power and who you are and i see you going after this ace of pentacles in the month of october so listen put yourself out there because there's going to be an opportunity that's going to like a windfall of opportunities um for you um aquarius for you to put yourself out there and for you to make money and i feel like how this money is going to come <laughs> it's so weird it's just you're not going to see it coming it's not going to be your usual opportunity. You see how it's coming from the clouds. The divine is offering it from you. And you know, um, you're going to probably, it's going to take you out of your comfort zone, you know, but I just see you walking into something great. I see you walking into your own place. I see you walking into your own, your own business, your own foundation. There's something about personal independency that I see you walking into when it comes to your finances in the month of October. So we're going to take a look at love and see what's cooking and what's thriving. <laughs> okay. So firstly, for you Aquarius, we have love right here. Love is a mini splendor, many a splendor of things. Today, I will notice and appreciate at least three of those splendors. Okay. Then coupled with that, we have letting go and then we have perseverance so i feel like some of my aquarius you have a for some of you it's a physical person for some of you it's, it's energetically you have a, a decision to make you know to take a risk and let go of a connection or keep keeping a connection or letting go of an old mindset about love okay and um coming into a new mindset. And if for some of you, you have a dis, um, decision to make, are you gonna keep being single or are you gonna allow love in? Because love is here for you. And I feel like it's faded, um, Aquarius, but I feel like there's a sense of you fighting this change or fighting this love because you just don't feel like it's gonna be worth it. But it truly, truly is because this person is going to be genuine, okay? They're coming in offering you a new beginning. For some of you, this is a new connection. Uh, for some of you, this could have been somebody you friend zone or it's a friend or it's a secret admirer that you quite don't know yet, um, Aquarius. But I see, you know, this person has been slow to offer the pinnacle right here with the Knight of Pinnacle. It is the most slowest night, but it's the most sturdiest night, okay? It's the most sufficient. It's the most firm foundation. This is stability right here because this person is thinking about making an investment in you. This person is thinking about, you know, they're planning it. They're thinking about everything, okay? But I do see you giving in to this connection here. At some point, I feel like this person's gonna weigh you down, wear you down, <laughs> you know? But I see it being very healing. A wish fulfillment, but also healing. I see you guys, you know, healing um, your sacral chakra, womb healing, okay? Um, I just see like once, you know, this person could have took a while to offer you this, but once you guys get in, there's no fighting. I do see some baby making <laughs> Aquarius. I see like you guys doing Tantra sex, you know, healing. The sex is going to, the sex, I'm so sorry to talk about that, but the sex is going to be very therapeutic, very healing mentally, spiritually, physically. Okay, I just see a lot of good things coming for you. So this is something that spirit really wants. For some of you, Aquarius, you already have this. You know what I'm talking about. But this is what's also what's coming in. But what has to leave first is that stinking thinking about um, love and relationships. So you can allow this person to come in, you know, and treat you how you deserve. So the word that spirit wants Aquarius to keep at the forefront of their mind in the month of October is fulfillment, okay? This is where you're walking. Light and dreams. 
So keep these words in mind, okay, when you're making decisions, when you feel like you can't go on, because this is why you have to go on. This is why you have to put yourself out there. This is why you have to take this risk. This is why you have to see it all the way through. This is why you have to perseverance. I hope I'm saying that word right. It's because it's taking you to fulfillment. It's bringing you into the light and it's manifesting your dreams. Okay, Aquarius. So I love you guys so freaking much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I am going to be doing a lot of like um, intuitive channel messages for each signs and just anything else that I um, come up with. And also you get to meet your Tori because that's more my side where I'm going to really share me with you guys. So I love you so much and I will catch you on my channel. Follow, she blazing.